In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to download and set up the MetaMask wallet extension on Google Chrome. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the metamask.io website, make sure it is the official one, and go to download. From there, they're gonna give you the options for Chrome, iOS, so iPhone and Android. And at the bottom, they're gonna give you other supported browsers like Firefox, Brave, Edge and Opera. At the moment, they don't have anything for Safari. We're just gonna go ahead and continue with Chrome. From there, they've got a cute video about what MetaMask is and how it connects you to Web3. Yeah, I recommend watching that so you can get an idea. And at the top right corner, click on Add to Chrome. So it just basically ask for permission to add the extension. You can click OK, Add Extension. From there, MetaMask is going to open. Cute little fox. Going to click on Agree on Terms and Conditions. Now it gives you the option to create a new wallet or import an existing wallet. We're just gonna create a new wallet. Gonna say no thanks to that. Okay, now it's gonna ask for a password so you can just set one up. Cool, and agree and create new wallet. So then it comes to this page which explains what a secret recovery phrase is. Basically just a 12 word phrase that allows you to access your wallet. So we're gonna go with secure my wallet. Now it's going to reveal the 12 words you want to keep this safe, write it down, don't keep it anywhere online and don't share it with anyone unless you trust them with your entire, well, basically all your funds. So show, I'm not going to use this wallet ever, so I don't mind showing you guys. I'm going to copy to clipboard and go to notes, paste in there. From there, once you've written them all down, go to next and then it's going to test you to make sure that you that you have them in the correct order. Um, so we're just gonna fill that in. So that is gold, done. Cool. Once that's done, you can click on confirm and your wallet is created. Got it. Now it tells you how to pin the Chrome extension to your Chrome, so we're gonna do that. So let's start off with that. So on the top right corner by the extensions, just click on that pin to pin MetaMask to your extensions. Click exit here. Great, now you've got your MetaMask set up. So just a quick run through. Let's go through the account first. So you're gonna click on account. Over here you can add a new account, import an account, or add a hardware wallet. Don't need that now. You can also go to account details and change the name. So for instance, account. This is your public key, so that's kind of like your bank account number where you can send and receive funds to. And then at the bottom, you can also show your private key. Now, your private key is kind of like a key that unlocks a door in a house, whereas your secret recovery phrase is the master key of the house that unlocks every single door. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Okay, cool, so we're just gonna save that and exit here. There is your public key again. Then we've got your ETH balance here, buy and sell. So you can buy and sell from fiat to crypto directly. I don't really recommend doing this. I think it's more expensive. I generally just buy it from an exchange and send it to my MetaMask. You can send crypto out of your MetaMask. You can swap, which is like trading. It works like a DEX aggregator. So it connects to multiple different decentralized exchanges and finds you the best prices when you want to trade. But I have found that it is more expensive than just connecting to something like Uniswap directly, which I have made a video to, by the way. And then you can bridge to other networks and see your portfolio. At the bottom here, we've got your token. So there's Ethereum with a zero balance because we haven't done anything. You can also import other tokens. So you can either search the name of a token or at custom token, you can get the token contract address and just paste it in there. And then finally, on the top left corner, they've got all the networks. So you've got test networks as well. And then you can go to add networks and search for whatever network a token that you're looking for is on. So that's how you set up MetaMask. If you guys did find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe for future videos.